along the nail, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in a series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I'm struck by the concept of balance um, in the Torah and in life. Uh, the balance between the forces of good and the forces of evil. Good and evil need to be balanced. Good and evil gives meaning to the freedom of choice. Um, same thing, a yetzer tov, a good inclination, and a yetzer a bad inclination, balance. If, all, if the only thing we could choose is good, choice is meaningless. If there's nothing to choose except for, for, for good things. When there's a choice of good and bad, it gives free choice of meaning. Similarly, what's the point of having good and bad to choose from if you're only inclined to choose good? You need to have the choice of good and bad and an inclination for good and an inclination for evil. This, we see this balance even in, in the Torah in very uh, simple and seemingly unrelated things. For example, when Avram, Abraham, our patriarch, is given the command to take... Uh, his son, uh, Isaac, and offer him as a sacrifice. It says he gets up in the morning. He gets up in the morning. He was sleeping. How could you sleep? You're, you've just been told to sacrifice your son. How could you sleep? Uh, similarly, um, uh, the prophet Jonah, the ship is being buffeted by the winds. It's falling apart. It's, 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 it's in dire straits. Jonah is downstairs in the hold having a nap. Holy, righteous men. They slept because they trusted in God. What's the balance? The evil? Pharaoh. When he was told by Moses and Aaron that the final plague was coming, there were nine successful plagues on the way. He knew that this was going to be a, the big one. He knew that they were never going to see him again. That this was going, And so Pharaoh goes to sleep. Unlike Jonah, unlike Abraham, who slept uh, trusting in God, Pharaoh, he was evil enough or foolish enough to go to bed uh, demonstrating his obstinacy, his stubbornness, his hostility to the commandments of God. Um, the balance is there between good and evil. We have good things to choose from, and evil things to choose from. Also in life, there is the balance between uh, what's good and what's holy and what's uh, not so good and what's evil. Today, I've mentioned in a previous video, we're seeing an amazing renaissance in Torah knowledge and Torah learning. Throughout the, the world, there are centers uh, where people are learning Torah, studying Torah, Mishnah, Gemara, all sorts of things, things online, things are interconnected throughout the world. There's a, there's a, there's a rebirth in Torah learning, uh, almost unlike uh, the world has ever seen. Similarly, the world is, uh, parts of the world are in moral decay. Um, there is... Um, The forces of evil are, uh, and wickedness, of licentiousness, of immorality, they're gaining a strength that we only saw in the olden days. Um, their fear is that the society will eventually collapse to the worst of times uh, in a man's history. Um, Let us keep this balance. Let us choose good instead of evil. Let us do good instead of evil. As the, as the Tanakh said, stop doing evil. Learn to do good, Isaiah chapter 1. And if we do, things will turn out well. And if not, they won't. But let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's do good. Let's choose good. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.